All right, and as we've been saying here and as well, Carly has, this heat is not going anywhere anytime soon. Hot, hot, and again, it's going to be hot. Yeah, right now we are looking at outside. This is from our Lex camera. Very calm conditions for the most part across Corpus Christi. Wind is actually out of the north at five miles per hour. So that's going to feel like 75 degrees. Our air temperature is 75 degrees. So that northerly wind, at least overnight, KPS just a tad drier and just a tad cooler. Our normal low for this time of year 76 degrees, so we're below that for a low just barely, and we are expected to be below our normal high temperature around 93 degrees. Now you do see cloud coverage throughout the day. There is a chance for a spotty shower or storm, and we are still talking temperatures around the mid 90s, and so the temperature inside a car can still heat up really quickly. It doesn't matter if it's 80, 90, or 100 outside. It becomes dangerous really fast within just 10 minutes at 90 degrees, it's going to be 109 in a car, 30 minutes, 124. So regardless of our temperature, pretty much all year long in the coastal bend, we do get slightly cooler with temperatures in the 70s once we get into winter, but still always dangerous to leave pets, animals, uh, friends, family, anyone inside a car. So keep that in mind, even with our temperature slightly cooler than last week. 93 degrees today, tomorrow. Thursday, Friday, then we are trending even cooler as we head into next week. Low temperatures right around normal for this time of year, but that uh, that high is above or below normal. So we'll take it and that comes with a chance of rain. Now overall widely scattered opportunity for rainfall today through Saturday. Rain chances do look like they may go up Sunday into Monday. So here's why we're still dealing with rain. It does look like the Victoria Crossroads up toward Austin have a little bit better opportunity of rain around this area of high pressure or water vapor. You can see the water imagery pulsing up there. A lot of the storm energy shifting a little bit more west, but we'll still have some energy with moisture coming off the Gulf of Mexico into even tomorrow morning before we start to lose some of that energy. And we see our next low, our piece of energy, our trough developing a little bit closer to Houston. This storm energy is going to lead to a little bit more rainfall for this area, but as the stationary boundary sets up, that may squeeze some moisture out. So what you see here, lighter green starting to show up into South Texas. That means not as much rain even as we saw yesterday. The deeper green sets up shop over Houston as we head into the weekend. So if you have plans over the Labor Day weekend to head toward Houston, expect rain. We have a chance of rain here on the coastal bend as well, but our rain chances our moisture at least gets a little bit deeper as we head into Monday and Tuesday of next week. So you can see there's the plume of moisture giving a higher rainfall total range for areas across Galveston toward Port Arthur and then even toward Houston. For us in South Texas, we're talking an inch of rain possible, mostly right along the coastline. In your seven day forecast, those temperatures again staying below normal. Actually, the normal high is now 94 degrees, so we're going to be right around normal, if not below normal. As we end the month of August, we'll kick off September with slightly below normal temperatures and a chance, a chance for a little bit of rain. You see a lot of thunderstorm uh, icons on the map. It's not a guarantee. It's really just mostly widely scattered across the region. Barbie John Thomas. It's a fingers crossed kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Carly.